question we get a lot is, hey, is it worth it? Is it worth buying a Storyteller Overland mode? Well, here are five things that we like, five things that we don't like, five mods that we did that we really like, five accessories that we really like. So let's get into this. Starting on the inside, let's talk about some of the things we like. Let's start with the bed. We use it in its fixed position. It has many different modes it can go into, a work mode, stand up workbench kind of thing but we always leave it in the fixed mode which is the bed and we do that for the simple reason that the bed is high enough another positive to keep our bikes in there we also have some crates so that is our garage and we ac access it mostly from the inside and we'll talk about that in a little bit about one of the things that we don't like Another thing we really like about this van and is the first thing I start talking about when somebody asks why I like this van is the Volta battery system. Right now we're at 40%. We're six days in the boondocking. That's right. This thing is so great. It lasts long. It allows you to run the AC. Uh, there's tons of videos out there. Check them out. But this is something we really like. One of the biggest things we like about the van is just the open openness of it. There's not a, a bathroom in the middle to break up the space and it just gives us a sense of a bigger space than what it is, particularly all the windows. Also, along with that great open space area is the quality inside this van. I mean, it's just so noticeable whether you just come, I mean, that's like steel with these cabinets, the latches, it's just automotive grade windows way the windows pop open I can show you that in another little clip but it's just quality I mean just love the materials the colors even the floor it just all works we really love the groove launch as well and though there's I don't even know how many different positions you can put it in there's two that we use pretty much all the time in the six months we've been living in it this is one of them this is the bed mode and this is the passenger position. So you could have two more adults sitting here. So four legally in the van with the seatbelts. Three point seatbelts. Thank you, three point seatbelts. There are many reasons now that you know why we like the group lounge. Another thing we really like about our van is the aluminous ladder and the front runner rooftop deck. This is so sturdy. This is great front runner Rooftop deck that they install. Use it all the time. Yeah. The thing we really like about this van, two showers. Not that we use them a lot because 20 gallons of fresh water doesn't last very long, especially when you got two people taking a shower. But you have your outdoor shower. You can also rinse down bikes and stuff. And you have the indoor shower. Let's go look at that. And indoor shower. This guy is really neat. Just folds away so it's not always in the way. Bam, right into a shower pan that drains into the gray water tank. It's that easy. There's a lot of places or a lot of videos that show you how this works, so go check them out. Here's one of the things that we don't like. We can't really say hate because hate's a strong word. So we're going to just say dislike, annoying. This could always be improved upon. There is a garage light, but it's only accessible to turn it on and off from the back doors. We've used it zero times from the back doors because once you open up those back doors in the daytime, a ton of light comes flooding in. But we would have probably used it three or four times a day if there was a switch on the inside because we have to get our camera flashlights out to see stuff. And as you can see, we're full time here. We're packing. So if there's a switch maybe right here, right over here, most likely on this side since... The other switch is on that side. It would really make life easier. And the one thing we don't like about the Groove Lounge, these levers stick out way too much. They like to hit you right in the side of the knee. Oh gosh, oh yeah. Yeah. There's some cuss words that are said. Oh yeah. Especially on the second hit. <laughs> now we like our screens, but something, another thing we don't like about the van is how they fit. 
it, I'll show you. It doesn't matter how many times we try to adjust it, it just doesn't seem to stay flush to close all the open spaces. This one's really bad. But so far, we haven't had any bugs figure out they can come in that way. But it only takes one. One thing we didn't like is this van, when it's converted, adds a lot of weight and they don't do anything to the suspension. So by the time you add water and some things in the back, which is crates and bikes for us, this thing is really sagging. I mean, sagging bad. So bad that it knocked off some bump stops on the rear axle. A mod we made that we really liked was we had the windows tinted, even though the side bay windows were already tinted. We had them tinted again on the upper part, left the lower ones untinted. We left that little slider and the, the bump out undone. But on the front side windows, we did tint and we did a nice strip along the top. That strip along the top, it's a lifesaver just because of the heat that comes in on that thing. Not necessarily legal, but with that long, big windshield, we seem to get away with it. Another mod we did in the van are these small steel D-rings that you can tie stuff down with or just screw in places like here. We actually have our Christmas lights and also hooks hanging from them. But they come in really handy. One must-have mod is this shelf and curtain combo from Fan Life. It's super shallow so you don't end up losing the space that comes with the Mercedes Sprinter van. And we just use it, you can put sh uh, crates up there from the container store or else we just stuff soft bags up there in winter gear. But the blackout curtains and the insulating properties of this thing. The magnetic aspect I think is the coolest. That's some great privacy. Yes. And really cuts out in the heat. Big time. And the cold as well. Yeah. yeah especially if you're just insulating a cab here. Must have. Must have. It's a mod that we really like. <laughs> well, we didn't like the suspension that came with the van. What did we do? We modified it, and so here's a mod we like. Here's a quick look at those Sumo Springs. Right there. They've replaced the bump stops that fell off, and so it's a perfect mod, and not too expensive. Another mod that we really like, and is almost a necessity, is this van-made gear vent cover. Holds up by magnets. You can partially open it. Take it down. This thing really cuts out on the heat and the light. So if you find yourself in a Walmart parking lot, those light that light's not going to get in. And a, an accessory that we really like that we got on a YouTube channel, Irene Fitness. These things are huge. Uh, we have four of them, two gallons. They're collapsible, as you can see. As you can also say, we need water. So we're going to be leaving tomorrow. But we use our water tank for just basically washing dishes and showers and then this is our drinking water so we've got these and we also carry a couple extra one gallons the accessory we really like and we use all the time are these go treads they're levelers and they're traction devices oh and it's nice that they're orange isn't it the accessory we got is from amazon zuki lights they're solar and they're sensors and when you're boondocking and it's pitch black out, you don't really know where you are. It's nice to have those things because they'll come on when animals come by or some campers that, that are uninvited to maybe come a little too close to your camp. We also use them under the front engine to, to ward off any mice. Here are the two solar lights that we use under the engine area to ward off mice. One of our favorite accessories for the van are these chairs from Wild Horn. They're super light, easy to put together, got little pockets for your phone, and what we really love about them is these big fat feet, because not only will they keep us from falling into the ground, but more importantly, they go on the rooftop deck. I really like to sit up here on my chair. Pretty cool, huh? Another thing we really like and that comes standard with a 2021 mode is the Storyteller brand 
shades. There's one for every window, even the front and sides, even though we don't use them since we have the curtain. But they're solar and they're insulated. And magnetic. And magnetic. Boom. Boom. And then if you want this, the windows popped up, boom. Those are a lifesaver. And if you don't have them for your mode, check out their accessories shop. We're already done with our five accessories, but this is, or mods as well. So this is an honorable mention. This is a hood deflector that helps protect the front lip of the van from rocks and stuff from Terra Wagon. This thing, definitely a must. Another honorable mention, and this is all cosmetic, is look, look at this gem, orange. Picked up from Terra Wagon, and of course we had to get it because it goes with the great color scheme running down the side of the van. Retro, baby. Orange, orange, and orange. We have another honorable mention here. And that would be our little Lucci solar lights. Many different settings. Perfect when I'm doing pour overs in the morning and I don't want to. And it saves on the lights. Why not? Too? Battery juice. One thing CJ did is put these grip strips from a hardware store on the ladder because this is pretty slippery. And he also put one on both the passenger and the driver's side to step down. So, to sum up, we have gone through five things we like about this van, five, five things we dislike or annoy us about the van, five accessories, and five modifications we've done. Oh, and as you can tell, we've both been switching that hat back and forth because we only have one hat. Which we, we really like it. Yeah, we do. Um, so, I think the important thing to take away from this is we really like this van. Uh, I think... All the things that we like about it are the heart and soul of this van, whether mm -hmm. it's the Volta battery system, the quality, the layout. The ladder and the rooftop. Yeah, the bed system that we can get our bikes under there without messing with the saddle. Those things that we like are the heart and soul of this van, yeah. which is a classic mode. Um, the things that annoy us or dislike, I, I think they're just trivial, small things, things that will probably be corrected in the future, but... It just kind of, we had to come up with something. <laughs> um, so we hope you like this video. If you're thinking about this, we looked at other vans that are comparable to this. We thought about building our own van and we looked at vans uh, that were a lot cheaper, uh, under a hundred grand. And when we decided that we we're gonna be full-time in this van, we said, let's go for the one that will sustain us and make life easier because van life can be a challenge. You're always on the move, looking for water, this, that. So we hope that if anything, that you've learned something from this video and now you know why we like our van. We're sorry if we clickbaited you with the five things we love and hate about this van. We had to get your attention somehow. I'm glad you watched it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Thank you.